Greetings viewers, this is Sonic Emerald and welcome back to Let's Play Mega Man X! We're getting ready to start the next boss which is Launch Octopus so let's go ahead and get started with him and set my timer. Alright, we're getting ready to go to an ocean marine type area and uh, let's see what we got here. More turtles to fight. And uh, going through this area is going to be not as bad, I'm hoping. Anyway, we're going to go down this shaft here, fight some uh, seahorses that come out of nowhere. Get through here, and then we got a mini boss coming up. This mini boss is not too bad. He's got tentacles that shoot out of him. Also, uh, if he'll do it, uh, he's got a blowing attack on those vents. See, he tries to suck you into him and blow you back out. The thing on the top there is like a telescope, or I'm not sure, some type of uh, beam attack that he uses. So you got to be careful with that. That can hurt you. Anyway, we got him. We got these pufferfish type enemies that like to suck you in. They don't do much of anything, they just suck you in. I don't think they drain any energy off of you that, I, that I'm aware of. Alright, here we go. We're going to fight him again. This time he's a little trickier. Uh, if you notice, there's spikes all laying down on the ground here. Your job is to watch where he's going here. Sometimes he'll suck it the other way, so you got to be careful with that, but other than that, Pretty easy boss, mini boss there. We're gonna go through here. This is a whirlpool type thing that launches up here to a mini boss. The idea is just take out the center eye. Now you do not have to take him on, but there's a really good reason why you should. This is why right here blows this part up and takes you down all the way down here to the bottom for to a secret area. And what leads in this secret area? Well, first of all, we've got a mini boss. It's a robot snake that we're going to take care of here if I can hit him. There we go. Sorry, viewers, I was just being quiet there for a second because I was just trying to uh, take care of me easily. And what do we get for our reward? An X heart. That brings up our meter just a little bit more, which is always nice. Now we're going to continue to go back up here. Go through this stage. Whee! And we're getting ready to fight another boss. Coming out of the sand here, so watch out where he comes. And, yep, it's another robot snake. Yep. Eventually, he will die. There we go. I've been getting so lucky with those uh, energy drops. But anyway, another pufferfish. 
All right, get your shield ready and uh, get ready to fight Launch Octopus. Um, he's a pretty interesting character. There's a couple of attacks that he has that you've got to watch out for once he gets ready to do it. Oh, he's telling me to go down, people. Watch this. Watch out. He's got homing attacks. Yeah, they are homing. To oh, watch out for this. This is the worst one of all. He's got a whirlpool attack. If he clings on you, it's a life drain. It brings back his energy and sucks yours. So you don't want that to happen. That's one way of getting him. Oh, wait a minute. Why is my energy bar dark? Son of a gun. I had this on rookie hunter mode the whole time. Sorry, viewers. I'm, I am not a kid, and I am not going to do this on a low difficulty setting. I, I'm just not. We're going to make this a high difficulty set, a setting. Because I'll tell you something right now. Sigma is not cakewalk. So, need to know that. Anyway... We're going to get the homing torpedo, a very useless weapon, but it's worth it, I guess. So you just got to have to have that. But anyway, moving right along, the next boss we're going to fight is Boomer Kwanger. He's weak to this weapon. Do some disco, why don't you? If he's always likes that. I guess he does disco work in his spare time. But, uh, anyway, we're going to move up this tower here. The music here is really good. I, I, I personally like it. But I don't like getting hit by a chain. But we're going to go up this level here. Leap over. Go up. Now, this area is a little tricky. you got these sensors right here. If you get hit by it, those will activate, like right now, and they are 100% to hit. So you do not want to get hit. Next, coming up this ladder, we've got three turtles we're going to fight. Oh, if there was only a weapon in the game where we could take out these turtles a lot faster. But we'll have to wait on that right now. Anyway, we're coming up to an elevator shaft here. We're going to ride this up. Be careful of the spikes as you go through. And there's also enemies. And we get through that. And we're almost to the top here. And now we're going to go to the outside of the tower of this area. Climb up. There's going to be turrets and some spiders clinging on the, uh, as you can see on the stairway here. We're going to take out that. You don't have to take out the turrets, but it'd be a good idea when you're trying to get up these ladders because you, you can get knocked back, knocked back when you get hit here. So it's pretty good to, to do that. Climb up here. Might as well take out both these turrets because, well, it, it, it's something you have to do. Anyway, we're going to climb up here, go th up here. As you can see, there's an X heart, which I can't quite get right now, but we'll come back to this stage later to possess it. Now, we're going to get through this stage, this latter part here. We're going to go up here and take out some more turrets. And then uh, climb up here, climb up up this way. We got an enemy right here, but I'm just going to take the hit and get lucky. We got another enemy here. I'm going to take him out. All right, get your homing torpedo ready, and uh, we're getting ready to start this next boss who seems to have a lot of dance moves for a villain. 
as he comes down. Getting ready. Let's do the disco and burn. Oh. Anyway. Not doing much disco infernoing, are we today? And that's how we get Boomer Kawanger. His days at the uh, his days uh, dancing are numbered in this one. Anyway, that was a quick and easy peasy boss that you guys need to take take note. And X's weapon that he's going to get is the boomerang cutter. Uh, it's a it's an okay weapon. I mean, it can help you get items such as X hearts and energy tanks, and uh, yeah, and plus one certain boss later on. But that's pretty much it. Anyway, next time, the next boss we're going to fight in weakness order is Sting Chameleon. Also, we're going to come back and get some more X-Hearts and some energy tanks and a well-known body armor for X. So, find out next time on Mega Man X. This is Sonic Emerald saying goodbye and see you on the flip side.